A fixed halon fire extinguishing system consists of a halon storage tank, two sets of carbon dioxide operating cylinders, and a manual release cabinet. The halon is stored at a pressure of 14 bar in the holding tank, which has a pressure relief and a level indicator. When the cabinet door for the release arrangement is opened, the alarm gets activated, fans stop, and dampers or vent flaps close. The first and second handle have to be operated in succession for releasing halon. The second handle moves only when it is released by the blocking mechanism. On pulling the first handle, the first set of carbon dioxide bottles open. The gas released from these bottles pressurizes the pipeline between the halon tank and the master valve and ruptures the bursting disc at the bottom of the halon tank. Halon gas then flows to the master valve. The pressurized halon gas acts on the blocking valve and also opens the master valve to the engine room distribution line. The blocking valve permits the operation of the second handle. When the second handle is operated, it opens the second set of carbon dioxide bottles. Carbon dioxide from these bottles ruptures the bursting disc at the top of the storage tank and assists in expelling halon. The discharge of halon gas must be completed in 40 seconds. Personnel must evacuate the space when the alarm sounds. Concentrations in excess of 5% is a risk to humans as it is toxic.